County Fermanagh in northwestern Ireland, the farthest reach of the United Kingdom. Remote, yes. Pretty, certainly. But nobody's here much, so why not frack for gas? After all, there's shale in those hills. But there are people here, and they rely on the land for farming and tourism, and air and water for life. When the G8 held its annual meeting here last year, all the security people who'd feared anti-globalization protests instead got furious anti-frackers. And they're still furious now. It's going to spoil everything. The environment, it'll just completely change to a state that we've never seen before. It's also irreversible, which is a huge worry for humans here. I mean, if it's irreversible and it goes wrong, then there's nothing you can do. So they're planning something here which hasn't been tried before in the UK, asking the people in a referendum if they want fracking or not. It's very, very important that um, we have a, an informed debate about it. We, we reach a, a conclusion, and if that conclusion is that the people don't want it, then I would expect that um, everybody would respect that. Academic studies are suggesting public opinion here looking increasingly uncertain about fracking. Environmental groups, which are trying everything from blocking roads to legal actions against it, say local referenda could be taken throughout the country. In the face of all this public opposition, the government's really trying to sort of circumvent um, what local people really think, and so a series of referenda would certainly be something that we'd be keen to, to look at. But there's another fault line in this story which is every bit as complicated and controversial. This river is the border between Northern Ireland in the UK and the Republic of Ireland to the south, and many of these waterways here cross borders. So what happens if fracking in one country ends up polluting a different one? A few kilometres downstream is the Irish farming town of Dowra. The river, which flows through here, the Shannon, rises in Fermanagh near the proposed fracking site. It's Ireland's longest river, and the government wants to use it for drinking water, which would mean polluting it would affect millions of people. This industry taking foot in Northern Ireland, we believe, cannot go ahead because of the transboundary issue. And that hasn't been addressed by the authorities in Northern Ireland. It hasn't been addressed by our own gov government yet. And we haven't been represented as communities on the border. We wanted to ask the Australian fracking company if it would carry on if a majority of the people of Fermanagh voted against it. We also wanted to know what it thought might happen if fracking polluted not one, but two countries' water. Their reply said, They'd been granted a government licence and looked forward to beginning testing this year. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, on the UK-Irish border.